What is up in the army? I am Gibner5 coming at you with a brand new video. Yeah, I've been waiting to do this for quite a while. <laughs> for quite a while. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to my ranking of all the Lego games that I have. <laughs> anyway. I have a total of 24 games in this list, 23 that I have, one I do not have, it is the new game that's coming, I put it in here because I'm gonna get it, there's no doubt about it, I'm going to get it. So with that, let's do this, I guess, so, um, Before, full, actually, before getting into this, let me just say that this is my list. You, you guys could have different different lists. You will have different lists than me. You probably will disagree with what my number one is, but um, this is all me. Do not get mad at my decisions. And. I know some games have, th uh, like, uh, I could have done just series, be like the DC series, but uh, that wouldn't be fair because in, like, the DC series, there's games I like and games I do not, really do not like. So, I've decided to go game by game and say, and I'm going to say which, the reason why I like them and the reason why. This is what, the reason why I like them and the, or the reason why I don't like them. Um, so, yeah, I'm ready to get into this. <sighs> okay, so. Starting off, number 24. Uh, Lego Batman to DC Super Villain, uh, Heroes. Lego Batman to DC Super Heroes, um, very good reason. I don't like this game. Simple. I don't like this game. Let's move on. I'm kidding. I just, I, I, it, I think it could have been done better. The, um, it's, one of the first Lego games that had, um, uh, what's it called? You know, uh, spit talking. There we go. It was one of the first that I had that didn't really, uh, in my view, just did not really do it. It didn't do, it just is not that good of a game. It, Lego has done such a better job with other games. And, um, well, it's even worse if you put on subtitles, because the subtitles don't line up. They don't line up at all. You're like a minute ahead. Or behind, can't remember. But they're not together, they're not, uh, with it. <laughs> it's not really good, and it's not just the game that I had, version of the game that I had. I've seen it on several, on Pretty much everyone that I've seen play it, it's been like that. So, I, I just don't like it. And this could have something to do with me not being a DC fan also. You could say that, but I just don't like it. <laughs> I just do not like this game. Um, but, uh, let's uh, move on. Number 23, Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. I've played this game like two times. I've tried playing it two times. Uh, it just seems a little wonky. The storyline it doesn't really fit. It it doesn't fit well. It doesn't kind of um, match up with um, other. Uh, it's not as well. Okay, the storyline isn't as good as other games. I will say that it is not that. good good. There are way better Lego storylines. This one is just not that good. I don't like 3. I've tried it twice. The DLCs are awesome. 
If if this was solely based on DLCs, this would be in top 10. But I don't like this game. The story is so wonky. But um I, I just don't like it. I've tried playing it twice and I haven't gone through it. It is one of the worst games that I've played out of all the Lego games that I've played. So Moving on from number 23 to number 22, I can uh, Lego, the Lego, the Ninjago movie video game. So, so many reasons. I hate this game. It's just, I don't hate it as much as uh, Lego Batman 3 and Lego Batman 2. I hate this game though. It is not well made. There is so much that is different than um, previous Lego games. It's just way too different in my view. Lego has had such a amazing setup for every game. And then this one they just uh, said, screw it, let's do something completely different. Stud count is completely wrong. You have to get so many studs to get just one stud. It, it doesn't make sense. You can't, I haven't even made it to a full thing. And if there's another thing after that, it's going to be even more annoying. But I will complete the game eventually. But I will not explore it. I will I will not do any more videos on this game. I already completed the storyline. And the storyline was even a little wonky. The movie was great. It was good. The movie was good. Game, no. Game was not good. They could have done a lot better with this. And, um, like, I know this is kind of on me, but I know it's a Lego title, like, it's their own thing. Would have been better to do something else. Like, it's not, it was not well done. It wasn't. They could have, I would have liked seeing them do a Lego Batman movie game. They didn't. They moved. They put that with Lego Dimensions, which we'll get to in a bit. Um, but I, I just I don't like it. I don't like it. Simple reason. I know some people, and I I even talked with someone about this game. He didn't even like it. He doesn't like the idea of it. So. I, I just, I don't think LEGO did the best of, I had the best of, in, they had good intentions with it. Was it a success? No. No. Simple. No. Anyway, moving on. Number 21. I went long, a little bit long on that one. Oh, the LEGO Movie 2. Video game. Yeah, this one's wonky. It's not proper levels. <laughs> Simple enough. It's not proper levels. There's something I like about making Lego game uh, videos. Because if there's series, if, if I'm in the storyline, it's not hard to make them because it's just a level. It's so poorly laid out. It's, it doesn't feel like a Lego game. It is a good game, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't feel like a Lego game. Kind of like the Lego Ninjago movie. They went away from their normal system. Their normal way of doing things. And it's the way that Lego is known for making games. And they went away from it. No! You don't go away from it, you stay with what's been working! You don't leave it. You do not leave it. You you stay with it. The characters are good. I barely have even played this game. I've gotten I've had it for over a year now and I've barely played it. So the game is not that good. It is so poorly done. It is so open. There is so so little um uh, like um 
Uh, there's so, mm, so little directions. Like, it, it's such a poorly done game. They've done so better. Lego Movie 1's game was better. <laughs> and that's not saying much because that one was bad too. But, the, some of the features in the Lego Movie 1 game that were, that made it stand out, uh, not even in this game. Not not to the point that I've made it. And I don't like that you have like tools and stuff. The, the, this is what they did. They took Lego Worlds and, uh, and a non-Lego game style and just mashed it together. No, that don't work. That says when has that worked? Lego Worlds is not one of their most popular titles. I know that. I, I haven't played it yet. I have it. I want to play it. It looks fun. But, um... Stick with what works. Same thing with this one as the Ninjago one. You don't go away. You stick with what works. I do not like this game. I know a couple of my friends that do not like this game. It's poorly done. I will say that. But, let's move on. Number 20. Like a movie video game. <laughs> um, this one at least is the same, um, same style as every other Lego game. And I like that. Just... The thing I don't like about it, and this I know is just nit- I'm just kind of nitpicking. I don't like the movement of the characters. I know it's not that big of a thing, but I just don't like it. I know it's meant to be real life Lego, but... Breaking things is so hard. It's so weird, breaking things. But I, and, they could have done a better job with the game, for sure. For sure. The way you travel is really poorly done. I know it's close to the, the move, I know it's supposed to be the same as the movie. It's not. Same way you travel in the second game. But in the second game, it's even stupider. Because you need certain bricks to get into them. Well, into the first one, we needed a certain amount of bricks. That was dumb. <laughs> but, um... I liked that they stuck, stuck to the actual storyline of the movie. I just... It just... No. They didn't do good. No. Did not do well. I do not like it. Simple. You do not do that. And, um... Like, the, the only main reason I hate this game is the way all the characters move. That, that it, I just don't like it. Um, I haven't made it far in this game. I've played it twice. That also affects it. I, I just, I really liked it. Uh, I, I'm still going to finish it. I... I will finish it, but much like a uh, like Ninjago mo movie, I will not explore it. it, it just, I won't do explore. So, with that, let's uh, move on to number 2019, <laughs> which is Lego Dimensions. This is the controversial one, isn't it? Um, so. What's wrong with LEGO Dimensions? It's a great game! Yes. I will say that. It, they did a good job with it. They did. Just. The thing that was annoying. Is you can't 100% complete the game if you don't have a character from every single world. And if you don't have a character from every single world can't access that world. If you can't access that world, you can't complete the game. That's really stupid. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, but that is stupid. You don't block off a world to a certain character. That is so dumb. At least you get DC L Lego Movie and um and Lord of the Rings right off the bat. You get those three. That's amazing. But they they put in so much. They put so they pushed so much together. A lot of it didn't even go well together. Then they added a second year. Now nah, we're going on another game. <laughs> I, I would have gone for another game. I, I barely even played any of second year stuff. Because I barely got through the year one stuff. The game took me so long to play that I decided to, to screw it and stream the last four levels. And that was a really bad stream. So you can't find the, like, the, the, you can find the last bit of the game, but the other three parts you can't find on this channel. Will I ever go back and play LEGO Dimensions? No. Will I complete LEGO Dimensions? Obviously not. I don't have every, every single character. If, if I, uh... If I combined my characters with DJ's characters, then yes, I could complete the game. Will I? No. No. Not completing the game. Bad idea. But, it was a good, they did a good job trying to uh, go into, um, bring the, into the Toys to Life category. But, there's none of those left. Sort of. Scalanders isn't officially gone. I think they're just going to they're just going to digital now. But um This game's better than uh twenty to twenty four. It's better than those. A lot better. So eighteen. Let's go eighteen. Okay. Eighteen. 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 Okay. So, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Does this have something to do with um, the new game coming out? No. No, absolutely not. I just probably... It's just... I know it's an old Lego game. The levels are too short. I've played older Lego games. I've played Lego Indiana Jones. Those levels are really long. Um, some of the levels are really poorly done. Um, like, uh, the pod racing one. I don't like that. Uh, that is a very poorly done level, and I hope to- I hope to God that they don't do it the same way in the new game coming. They've said they're doing things differently, that nothing will be the same as a complete saga, Force Awakens. They say- they've said that. I don't know how true that is. I hope it is because I do not like some of these levels in this. I'm just at the beginning of episode two. Yeah, yeah, episode two. Um, and that's probably why I haven't completed it, and probably when I probably won't complete it once uh, the new game comes out. I'll probably just drop it. It'll probably get canned. Like, a lot of series are getting canned at the moment by us. So, um, it's good. don't get me wrong. I love my Star I love the Star Wars games. It was one of the first big games they did. And it's good. I know mumbling is a big thing with, uh, is a big thing in Lego games, especially the older ones. They do a good job with that. They're bringing it back, <laughs> partially. Um, but... I just, it's not that good of a game. There's so much, and yet so little. Like, one level you is really small, then the next level is like 20 minutes. It takes me like 20 minutes to do if I want to get the stud rank and everything. Like, <sighs> Lego games now, the levels are always pretty much the same length. 
Especially if you want to go for steps. It's they're pretty much the same length. And they take about the same amount of time, like 30 minutes for me, because I smash pretty much everything in, in sight. But, um... Not well done. Not well done. Simple. And it does... it uh, ha the A big effect... W when I come back and do this in, like... Two or three years, like two or five years, <laughs> it'll probably be even lower because um, Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga will be fully out, and I will play it, and that will make this probably go down in the t bottom twenty or thirty, depending how many games are out by then. So let's move number seventeen. We're already at twenty minutes. Seventeen. <laughs> 20 minutes. Jeez. Lego The Incredibles. This is not well done. <laughs> um. At least something I like in the previous game. In the games that go by movies. They have them in order. Like first and. First. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. Nope. Not this one. Second. First. That's really dumb. <laughs> you go first, then second. Not second, then first. That is so dumb. There are so many reasons why you do not do that. Because if you don't know the storyline, you won't understand the storyline if you start in the second one. You'll understand it more if you start in the first. <laughs> like, it, it was not a smart, smart idea. The... I haven't explored this game. I will not be doing Explorer for this one. I'm pretty sure I confirmed that. But, um, I, no, I don't like it. it. It's not good. It's better than, um, uh, a lot of their recent games. It's better than, but, just, it, it's too different. Oh, it's too wonky the way the story is set up. You go from two to one. I could even tell you, don't do that. That's simple. You don't go two then one. You go one two. But yeah, all dropping all the negative um uh, about the game. It's a good game. The levels were well done. I've ran into a couple bugs, but it wasn't hard to get back. But, um, it's a good game. Just, the levels are well done. It did drag on a couple things that they probably shouldn't have. Uh, like, uh, the, uh, r burglar, the first level in, um, uh, first Incredibles part. Um, I was poorly done. So many cliffhangers there. Not well done. At all. Um. And the level was long. It covered two different parts that weren't even close. So. Yeah. Pretty much the only big thing I'm annoyed with about this game is that they went two and then one. You go one and two. It's simple. It is so simple. You go one and then two, not two and then one. I do like that they went and did a Disney title instead of doing another Star Wars game or another Batman game. It was different. I like that. Just uh, not the best. Moving on, number 16. I go Indiana Jones, the original adventures. This was actually not that bad. <laughs> uh, levels are good. Levels are good. Levels are actually pretty good. Um, I'm pretty sure after this are the games that I have not actually played. Just, this game pretty much just fell here because I had the top 10 picked. And, um... The bottom was filled also. So this one just fell here. It's actually a really good game. It's a very well done game. 
especially with the mumbling and stuff, they did a good job with it. They added hum they've done good with the humor. They've done good they did good with it. Just um you do get copy I did get copyright struck on the first episode and I pretty sure I got that back. Pretty sure. But um yeah. Moving on from number 16, number 15. I don't really have much to say on Lego Indiana Jones, the original adventures, because I played much, I've played a good amount of it. I just, so it, unlike the previous game, 15 to like 24, it's a good game. It's a good game. Yes. Okay, so yes, these are the games that I have not played. That I have. So, Lego Indiana Jones 2. I have this game. I have now played it. Um. I, I don't know what what's different in this one than Indiana Jones 1. Because, um. I'm guessing they just added. Because, I'm pretty sure just the first one is the first. How many films? No, I think it's just 1 and 2. This one, I think it's one, and th one, two, and three. I think this one, I'm pretty sure, c covers everything. I haven't played it. Simple enough. Simple as uh, simple as everything. I have not played it. I have it. Will I play it? Eventually, yes. Yes, eventually. Right now? Oh, no. I have way too many games I can play right now. But, um, it's a good game. It's okay. It's okay. Um, moving on. Number 14. Lego, Pi Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. I wonder if they're going to redo this soon. Because uh, Pirates of the Caribbean technically is getting rebooted. With the all-girl all group. Yeah. Things. Yeah. I don't know how that's going to go. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they redo this soon because they're doing more stuff with Disney now. But, um, I wouldn't be surprised if they did it. Uh, if they didn't, it wouldn't surprise me either. But, um, I have not played this game, though. I haven't even watched the films. That's pretty much why I have not played it. I'm waiting to watch the films. And they're on Disney Plus. So I could watch them easily. There's more films that I can watch though. Well, better films that I can watch. I just, I've never been a fan of Pirates of the Caribbean. But I don't know why. I like the ride. At uh, Disneyland and Disney World, I like that, but um, I don't like the um. I don't. I've never really been a fan of it. I didn't. Really, I didn't even really like Pirates of the Caribbean and um Disney Infinity. But yeah, I didn't really like Disney Infinity overall. So uh, it's a story for another time, though. Um. <laughs> Um, so, moving on, number 13, my throat is getting sore, Lego Harry Potter collection, I really want to play this, literally with the games that I have not played, I did the ones that I'm not really that excited to play, and then I did the ones that I'm really excited to play, Lego Harry Potter collection, oh I'm excited to play this one. I have never watched Harry Potter. Well, uh, oh yeah. We, we have, I, well, my family has them. <laughs> we have them, pretty sure. I don't think they, I don't think, I know, I don't think they've even watched them. They might have, but I don't know. Um, but the game is at the top of my shelf, my game shelf. It's a game I really want to play, just it'll take me quite a while to play it. So, I want to get to playing it this upcoming season, but uh, we will see about it. I don't know. Because there's more games coming out, 
I, the only way I'll get to this game because it's slightly newer is if I get more games done. We're canceling games. We are, I will confirm that we are canceling series. So that'll help this one get brought up quicker. But, uh, we have, um, talks. We're talking now about, uh, next season. So if we do end up putting this in the lineup for, uh, Premiere month, I'll be really excited too, and uh, we will see. But let's move to number 12 Lego Worlds. Let's get this out of the way. I know I um, sh shut at um. I know I sh shot at, um, uh, Lego Movie 2 video game because of the tools getting warped and in, put into a game like that. This is not a game like that. This is kind of a game based off of Minecraft and different world stuff. I haven't played this game, though. It's at 12. I really want to play it. I got it this year. I got it this year. So this one's actually at the top of the list. It's not even on our shelf. Like, it is at the top of the list for the next season. We want to start this game. I want to start it. It'll be fun to play. I know it. I've seen people have fun with it. You could... You can shoot elephants out of our... Uh, out. You could... Well... That sounded dirty the way I said it. You can spawn elephants by shooting them. Like, seriously? You can flatten an entire mountain! That's cool! Like, that's really cool! Then, I guess, number 11. Lego the Hobbit. This one I've played. Not much. <laughs> so I haven't played this game much. It's not the best of Lego games. Uh, they did a good job with it. Don't get me wrong. They did a very good job with it. But, um, I barely played it. That's why I put it here. Like, I've barely played it to the point that I haven't played it. I've played the first level. Uh, that's not a lot. Yes. Yes, you could say the same for Lego Movie Video Game. But, uh, it's not. So... There's not much I can say about this one, because I think it is a very well done game. I know it is. Just, I barely have played it. After I finish the series, yeah! Yeah, I'll say, I'll say probably this will be probably a pretty good game. It'll probably make top 10 in the future. Probably not. <laughs> but, uh, it'll probably be up there. But, um... Let's move on. Top 10. We already know that Lego uh, Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is up here because I do have it in this list. Because it is a game I plan on getting. I will get it. I will play it. I will record it. I will, I will upload it. You guys will like it. I promise you that. But, uh... Let's, uh, let's go in the top 10. Yeah. Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. Number 10. I couldn't put this any further in the top 10. Because we've barely seen anything. We haven't seen any gameplay. We usually don't. Um, I love that they're putting all nine films. I know, I know, I don't like playing big games. I don't care. 
Lego and Star Wars. I love Lego. I love Star Wars. Mash them together. I love them both. <laughs> but the annoying thing is, I know the cheat codes in the sets that if once someone finds one of them, yeah, they're good. But um, I'm not doing that. I'm, screw that. <laughs> I'm getting the, I'm getting the sets. Then getting the codes. Then. All have the code and the set. I love Lego, so obviously I will get the set. Obviously, I'll be getting the one the code in the advent calendar. I get that every year, so hopefully I'll get it this year, unless it gets sold out. <laughs> but Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. I can't wait to see this game. We don't know when it's coming out. We literally have no idea. I hope it comes out soon, sooner rather than later, because I love the game. I love what we've seen of it. I love that they're completely re- kind of completely doing a new take on LEGO games. Just, if they do the stud count the same as... Lego the Ninjago movie We're gonna have issues I'm also hoping that there's proper levels a Lot of the recent games have not been proper They're, They have been built on the same system as the previous games so I'm just saying this as a normal fan the place that I have played so many Lego games. Make it the same. Don't don't keep going off. If this one's different, I'm not gonna it's not gonna be in top ten. And that would be a bummer and it'll probably end up where complete sucker is. But I love the way they're doing it. It is the biggest Lego game they've ever made. It'll be the biggest game I've ever played. Because it a prop is probably big. It's bigger than Lego Dimensions, which is nuts. And Lego Dimensions was huge. So number nine. What number nine? Well, not much. All the Marvel games are still in the running. But Lego Jurassic World. Never watched the movies. I'll be honest. Never nah, watched them. Oh, uh, but. Much to bit of the first one, but I like this game. I actually really like it. It is a very well done game. Like it is a very well done game. It was actually, if I'm if I'm thinking correctly, it's actually one of the first Lego games I got on the Xbox One. Pretty sure, pretty sure this is one of the first games I got on the Xbox One. It's a good game. It's a very good game. I love the way they did it. And then you could, an even cooler thing that mind blown, you could customize dinosaurs? What? That's awesome. So now you don't just get to customize people. You'll get the customized dinosaurs. Do you know how cool that is? Yes, you can't play them all the time, but some of them you can. That's really cool. I really like this game. It had features that we'd never seen before. Will they probably do another one at some time? Well, probably. Because uh, Jurassic World franchise is not going away. There's another film coming. So, moving on, number uh, number eight. Like I said, I was nice to some of a uh, franchise, not so nice to others. This is an exact example of it. One well, Lego Batman the video game. It's actually very well done for how old the game is. It is a very well done game. Like, some games don't age well. 
I will say that some games really don't age well. This game, this game, it's nice. It's a very nice game. I really like it. I have memories of playing this game with a friend. Who's, well, DJ. I, me and DJ have played this game together. We, he didn't really have fun with it. I did. <laughs> well, he just, he didn't really like it. I'm guessing because it's just mumbling. But I like it. There's three different type, the three different paths. There's Batmobile path, I think it's submarine path, well, boat, then helicopter. It's a very good way of doing the game. It's very well done. I really like it. I haven't played it in quite a while. Um, but it's good. It's very good. Um, then moving on, number seven, like a Marvel Avengers. What could you not like about this one? It was one of the first Lego games that they did that they took that they based it literally off a film. I love that they did that. Just the one thing I did not like about this game was the amount of exclusive stuff. They had so much. They had so many DLCs exclusive to the PlayStation. I love the game, that's why it's in the top 10, but I couldn't put it higher, higher. I, it would have been in the top, top 3, but it had so many exclusives. The, and there was the Civil War pack that was entirely exclusive. What? You don't make... Civil War, one of the biggest Marvel films when this game came out, an exclusive. I know there was more and I can't place them, but I have a feeling Ant-Man was also exclusive. Yeah, I think it was. It, it, this game just had too many exclusives. Way too many. I never like it when a game has exclusive stuff. The new uh, Marvel Avengers game, Spider-Man, exclusive to flipping, to flipping PlayStation. Why? Don't do that. You don't. You don't make a, a, one of the best superheroes exclusive to PlayStation. That's just bad marketing. But um. Especially if you get it on PS4. <laughs> Sorry. I, I don't like PlayStation. Simple. Okay. <laughs> but, um. It's a good game. I, I really like it. Uh, that This one they did in order. <laughs> Came out at Age of Ultron. They did it in order, though. <laughs> they did it. Avengers 1, that Age of Ultron. Not like the Incredibles 1, Incredibles 2, Incredibles 1. No, you don't do that. <laughs> you don't do that. Moving on, number 6. Like a Marvel Superheroes. Um, so I had some issues with this game. Number 1. Um, well, little buggy, <laughs> little, <laughs> yeah, it's a little, it was a little buggy, but, um, I got, I got it a little bit after lunch, um, but it's a good game. This was a good game. I actually really liked this game. Um. Storyline was perfect. Very well done. Now, something Lego has done quite a bit is... They like mashing the usual bad guys and good guys together at the very end. That's when they did that, and they did a very good job with it. Like, they did a very good job with this game. I really like it. 
They did a fantastic job with the storyline. They did a fast, fantastic job with character designs and stuff for when this game came out, obviously. Um, levels were great. Everything, literally everything was amazing with this game. Then they came in with a single one! And that one's awesome! Kind of building off what were the first one left off and going in a completely different direction is awesome. And you know what? Without further ado, I think that one's number five. Yes, it is. So many characters covering everything. I love it. The designs are amazing. Characters are awesome. Storyline at the moment is amazing. Very well done. Levels are okay. Some of the levels are iffy. Some of them are very iffy. I don't really like ones that are just pretty much all boss fights. We've had like a couple of those. But it's a very well done game. They built it off the first one. And they did a good job with it. Could they have done a better job? Yes. Simple. Yes. I could have easily done a better job. But, they did a good job. They did an amazing job with it. I got the Deluxe Edition, so I have Season Pass. I've got everything. I'm like, right, I'm, I'm pretty far in this game. And it's a really big game. Like, it's, it's bigger than the first one by quite a bit, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I think the coolest thing is that you pick different paths. There's different teams. That's really cool. Like, usually LEGO games are pretty generic. You just go one team, pretty much most of the story. Nope, different teams. That, that's pretty cool. So, moving on, number four. I go Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. Love The Clone Wars. Uh, I love The Clone Wars. I love Star Wars. I love Lego. Perfect together. This one is an amazing game. It is even listed for us as a heavy hitter series. That says something for you. I love this game. It is very well done. I love that they did three different paths. There's the Dooku path, the Grievous path, and the Ventress path. It's very well done. You get different characters from pretty much each path. It's awesome. Like, Dooku is more battle stuff than the others are more generic. It's very well done. It was a very well done game. There's even bonus levels! Uh, you fly out and you go to another ship and you play those levels. That'll be fun to do. Like, this game they did a great job with. Storyline is very, very well done. They pretty much cover, like, the first season of uh, The Clone Wars, which is amazing. And for me, if I know what level's coming up, I will literally go watch the episode. Then record the episode, the level, and it'll be awesome. I'll know what's happening, pretty much. So, moving on, number three. Lego DC Super Villains. So, this game very well done. It's a very different take out of all Lego games we've seen. They, instead of go, instead of having heroes, they do the villains! That's awesome! No, no game has ever done that that I know of. No games usually go for the villains because no one really likes them playing as villains. Because they always lose. They turn that around. They turned the heroes into the villains. This game is amazing. The heroes get ca captured. Another group of heroes that are actually bad come. And then the villains turn into the heroes. 
It's an amazing storyline. It's so well done. It's so well designed. The DLCs are even um are even good. I haven't played them, but they're good. There's Aquaman 2. The Aquaman DLC was two parts. They never do two part DLCs. Like, that just says how much they did with this game. It's, it's such a good game. I love it. That's why it's number three. Now, you know which two are in the top two. But you don't know where they are. So, number two. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens Don't really have anything to say about this one. <laughs> it's a great game. It's a great game. It's an absolutely a great it's absolutely amazing. I love it. Um Could it have been done better because they've made the worlds a little bit bigger. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think they could have d made the world a little bit bigger, um, because, and they could have also given us, uh, they gave us and so many planets that had just one level on them, and that's it! Let us explore them! That would have been awesome! Like, I would have loved that. It, it's just nitpicky things, but it's enough that makes it not that makes me not want to have it number one. They fit in the Lego humor quite well, which is hard to do with Star Wars. Fitting in uh le the Lego humor is hard to do in certain things. This uh, they did a good job. They did a very good job. And I know, I remember getting this game. I actually pre-ordered this game. And it took me quite a while. It's, I'm still playing it. <laughs> I'm not done it. But, um, it is an amazing game. I do have a goal, though. I have a goal set out for myself. Dep no matter what. Whether I'm done it or not. I'm not going to continue playing it on the channel after the Skywalker Saga releases. It just does not make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> so, number one, I guess, well, it might as well. Uh, in my view, the best LEGO game that I have, you guys can easily disagree, is... Lego City Undercover. I'm not talking about the Wii U edition. Just, just making that clear. I'm not talking about that version. <laughs> that one sucks. I know it's the exact same game, but the mechanics sucks. You can't see it if you're recording it. Why do you think I didn't record it? <laughs> but, um, Lego City Undercover... Number one, amazing storyline. Number two, lots of humor. Very well done on the humor side. Number three, it, for a non, like, full, um, like, title, like, uh, what I mean by that is not, like, a full brand, they did an amazing job with it. Like, Usually Lego touches on the get on the brands of like DC, Marvel, Star Wars. They this was the one of the first games they did that was based on just a normal Lego line. Lego City Undercover is one of the is the best game in my view that I have. It is so well done. It is such a well done game there's so many different ways to um to play this game 
this th like and honestly one of the biggest features that was in this game that you don't see a in any other game is the building pads like that's a I love it I love that feature it was such an amazing change it was such a big difference it did make things hard or levels harder to get the stud count but it was a nice change to be able to build helipads, to be able to build car color, vehicle summon points, to be able to change your character. In the second version, you could have two players! It was amazing. It was so well done. I love the game. And hopefully it, down the road, I doubt they would do it. But hopefully down the road they do a sequel. I think they could do it. But I I just don't know. They could. They could not. But we don't know. But that that without further ado, do you guys agree? Do you not? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's start an argument. Let's start a fight. Anyway, with that guys, I'm giving you five from the Nair Army team. Signing off. See you later in the Army. Stay cool and have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!